Hey guys, Rocky again. Welcome back to another video. And today we're looking at my homemade own retro TV station that I've sort of made. So clearly it's using a Raspberry Pi. We're just waiting for it to boot. And what it should this is only version 1.2 of this device. There's more to do later. Okay, what it should do once it boots, because it's the first gen Pi Zero, the one that came free on the magazine, is once it's loaded. There we go. Now that's the pile that's booted, and then what we'll do, it'll do next. Here we go. It's got a job to run. It shouldn't be running that job, but anyway. As I said, this is only version 1.2. There's still some optimization to be done on this. It's, it's hacked together. It's perfect. So, oh, it boots into an advert. Which is what it's designed to do. An Amiga advert. So what this does is, as I said before, it's a Raspberry Pi. The auto boots VLC. Um, and VLC plays a directory full of video files. Now in this directory, there's a combination of vintage video game adverts, like the Amiga one you've seen just now. Uh, things like the computer program, Computer Chronicles, Bad Influence, Games Master. Hey, oh, look. There we go. Episode of the Computer Chronicles on a play for the next 30 minutes. It's also Micromen, etc, etc. And it just plays them randomly on, on a loop. Like a old television station. Now, this is only version 1.2. I've had some issues with the code. Initially, the first version only played Computer Chronicles. And to be fair, that gets a bit boring. This just sits on my very, very, very cheap TV I got for basically no money at all. That I use for some cube stuff, as you can see here. Uh, I've also had the K500 Mini playing on it. In the next part, what I'll do is I'll insert a picture of the back of this and I'll explain how it's all wired up. Welcome back, guys. So... Taking a look at the picture you see on your screen right now. The blue thing is the Raspberry Pi Zero in a case. It's then connected to power via micro USB, and we've got a USB adapter that goes into the TV. Ignore the other inputs on the back of the TV, they're just connected to other stuff. Unfortunately, this cheapo TV doesn't actually have a USB port, so that's the moment the Pi is being powered externally by just by a, a, a wall adapter. The code's really quite straightforward. It's a standard install of the is it Raspbian it's called now, but it doesn't boot to the, the GUI, it just boots to the command line. It then auto boots, it then auto logs in, at which point it boots up VLC, the video player, and then as I said previously, it just plays a folder full of videos with all the files in them. As this is what version 1.2. What I want to do for the later versions is I want to write, get a bit of other code and use the GPIO so I can have a skip button. So if there's a video I've seen 8,000 times, I'll just hit skip. Or perhaps when it's not working right, I'll just skip it, move to the next one. Also want to find a way of powering it either by battery or from the TV itself. This was just built over a weekend using literally what I had in the bottom drawer. The Pi had been sitting there for a long time. I've spent no money on this project at all, just my time. It's an old micro SD card, I think it's a 16 gig. Plenty space for all those videos. I mean, a lot of the video stuff isn't high res. Adverts from the 90s and 80s and the Computer Chronicles are not particularly big files. Um, my, uh, Micromen's on there. It's a really interesting thing to watch. It's just nice to have it on in the background, just watching. No, even now, sometimes even without any sound on it. 
it's actually really good so hope you enjoyed this little video guys um, any questions pop them in the below and i'll try to answer them as best i can thanks very much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye